Hi, my name is Dan Bruno, and that's me. I'm a 21-year-old college senior, and New York is my home. We had your funeral in the ocean. This is the city where anything is possible, the American dream. But as I get closer to graduation, I've been beginning to wonder, what is the American dream really? I always thought that it meant that if you work hard, you'll be as successful and rich as you've ever wanted. But is that really true? Has this been working for all Americans? I knew I wouldn't find the answer to this by just staying in New York. But I needed to know what other people thought of the American dream because I'm about to start relying on it myself. So I made a very big decision. I rented a car and I persuaded a film crew of five of my closest friends to drive with me across the country in search of what people really think of the American dream. We started in New York and that's me again on the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. 16 days and 11 cities later, I can now finally say that I've found the answers that I was looking for, and an incredible story has unfolded. When we originally set out on this journey, we all had an idea of what we thought the American dream meant for us in our lives. <laughs> and we couldn't have been more wrong. So I was walking on the silk road When I first started planning this trip, I had to decide where to begin. I then realized that the best place to start for questions on the American dream would be our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. To make the answers more real and spontaneous, we decided that in every city we go to, we are going to canvas the streets and ask people that we run into, undoubtedly creating a mix of all different types of people. So we began the search. You got to have passion in your heart and drive in your soul. You have to. You got to be able to have all that. You can attain it. Anybody can. You can attain any dream you want in life. This is the greatest country in the world. Believe me, when people stand on stages and say that, it's a known fact. It's very true. I, I've traveled the world in the service, and I'll tell you right now, there isn't a country out there that will give the opportunity to any of you like this country will. Encompass with God, you have everything. Those three, man. Faith, hope, and love. That's it. That's the way of the world. If you guys all guide that and go by that, you'll you'll love life to the fullest. It's awesome. Thank you. Really yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you for your service too. That's the space. We reached North Carolina in about five hours and began walking down the streets of Durham searching for interesting people. And we definitely found them. What does the American dream mean to you? Getting laid, getting laid all the time, having kids, you know, seeing your family grow up, you know, I, I, uh, It doesn't matter if you're, you know, born with a silver spoon or it doesn't matter if, you know, you're a real piece of shit. It, it's like it's all the flip of the coin, you know what I mean? Like I've seen people that are just horrible human beings that are like, you know, 
everything just falls into place for them. And then I've met people that are the most genuine human beings that you could ever imagine, and they seem like they, you know, they get kicked every time they're down. So it's like, I think it's just the luck of the draw, man. You know, honestly, you know, the American dream would probably be how to figure out how to beat the odds. You know, that's probably the American dream for me. But you know, a lot of people waste their time on it. You know, looking for something that they're never going to find. And for me, I'm just looking for whatever I can find. You aren't the horseman, you're the killer on the run From the laws that you made up in the forests of Tunisia They say trust the earth, trust the earth with your life As we pulled into Savannah, Georgia, we were astonished by its beauty. It's a small coastal city, so quaint and inviting. Willow trees canopy the streets, and we met some of the nicest and most genuine people ever. It is definitely one of my favorite places that we went on this entire trip. Uh, a lot of people have twisted uh, views on the American dream. Um, or maybe they just don't know themselves, and um, their dream is without outside of them, but uh, I feel like it comes from within. And it doesn't just have to be a American, it's you know, humanity as a whole, you need to uh, like help people and um, just be good to people and hang out and have drum circles and play music. I think it's, it's kind of a universal dream, but in, yes, I do believe it. I do believe that, uh, that I mean, there are economic limitations, there's social things that keep people down, but, but the American dream is a dream of the spirit, of the soul, of unfolding and finding and being, being the best you can be. Thanks, Roland. What does the American dream mean to you? American dream is having it all, being happy and healthy, and having people who love and love you and care about you. And um, I feel very lucky because I think I have it all. That's my American dream. I don't know what the American dream is. I don't know what the dream is. This is a, that's an answer. Okay. What does it mean to you? The American dream is freedom, and by living in America we have that freedom, freedom of choice and freedom of love and freedom to do what we need to do to survive and live in love and be happy. I think there has to be some changes in the world, in, in the U.S. for people to be able to enjoy that freedom. Some people are just surviving. They don't get to enjoy the American dream yet. But you said you had no answer and you had a yeah, good well, answer. Yeah, well actually, oh, like the cut. Well, I was looking at your American dream versus mine and it's interesting too. So, yeah, but I'm happy. Life is good. Oh, yeah. No, it life is. is good. Dan, where are we off to next? Um, we're off to Montgomery, but I have no idea where we are right now. But, yep, we're going to Alabama. I flew out to see the valley get filled in. Plain of pavement where a gaping mouth had been. This leg of the trip was when we first realized that we were really a long way from home. It is amazing to think that this is all in America and that we had never had the opportunity to travel and see all of this. We were definitely in the South, and we wanted to hear what people in Montgomery had to say. Unfortunately, though, we hit a little problem during our search. There's no one here. What is it? There's ghost town. There's no one here. You know, Alabama is weird as fuck so far. <laughs> what? All right, so we're here at the Alabama State Capitol building. Um, the weirdest thing about Montgomery, though, is that there's not a single person anywhere. We've been trying to find people to interview, and there's, besides for us, there is literally not one person walking around this city. Hello! We only found one person that day, but that's all we really needed, because we found a retired news anchor who really painted us a picture of the history of the American dream in Montgomery. Boy, you, you really want to get me started. Yeah, I was yeah. Well, I was born and raised in Alabama, and I grew up a poor southern farm boy in uh, South Alabama during the 60s, during the turbulent era of the Civil Rights Movement. 
we had in, in the African American population, we had the people that really wanted to make the movement happen. They were tired of sitting on the back seat of the bus. They were tired of not getting pay, equal pay for equal work. Uh, it was a turbulent time for them. These people, they weren't, they didn't go out there and determine, I think I'm gonna get up today and start a civil rights movement. This is something that, that occurred and happened over years and years and years. And luckily, it was nonviolent simply because of the man that preached in the church right down here. It was a nonviolent movement. There was violence, and that was from a few people, but it all worked out. That church right there was Dr. Martin Luther King's church. And this is where a lot of the, the meetings were held, a lot of the planning for the civil rights movement, all of that stuff was started right here, right where we are. Great people have walked the rocks that we're walking on now. Sadly, this destruction has defined this place. New Orleans was hit with Hurricane Katrina in 2005, causing unimaginable damage to the city and to the Ninth Ward, where many people had to evacuate and are still trying to rebuild to this day. Rubble on the ground and houses still destroyed. It is like time stands still here for these poor people. Although people are trying to rebuild this area, it is just a sad sight to see how people's entire lives are lost in the blink of an eye. How long have you lived here? I've been living around here all my life. Oh really? So were you here through Katrina and everything? Yeah, I stayed. When I went around the corner by my grandmother's house, I seen the dead body floating up the, the street. Really? Yeah. I guess the American dream is like, like when we like when we pledge to the American, I mean like the American flag, I guess that's what it means to me. And like I think I'm living it because every time I eat food, I bless it and I'm glad I have freedom. At 60 years old, the, the biggest part of the American dream that has impressed me is family. I thought that owning stuff was gonna be really cool. So I went and I bought a bunch of stuff. I got houses and cars. And, and I went on trips, which was fun. I really like travel. But I found that family has, uh, has pleased me much more in my uh, youthful middle age uh, than all the others. All the bones in my back New Mexico bound, the longest stretch of driving on the entire trip, 10 hours. Everyone has had amazing answers. I know I couldn't respond the way that everyone has been responding, so I'm like blown away. That's the most fun I'm having on this trip, is just meeting all these people. Even if I wasn't even filming this, it's, uh, it's gonna stick with me for a long time, probably my whole life. My face, but I don't know what suffering is. But I find that out if it would clear your sins. If you froze to death, I would lay you on the table and I would fix you. Okay, I, I am the American dream. I I, I never finished high school. I grew up in New York City, and I went up a ladder to become a chef myself, and uh, a celebrity chef cooking for a lot of uh, entertainers. And that's, I think that's the way the American dream should be. I think that the dream in this country can come true to anybody that really wants it. If you want something and you work hard for it, and you have to work hard for it, you'll get it. We made it. We reached the West Coast after almost two weeks on the road. California, in my opinion, was a perfect ending spot for our search. 
Not only is it the final destination on the cross-country trip, but interviewing people in LA and Hollywood gave us a really unique perspective. I think this is actually probably the pinnacle of what everyone thinks the American dream is over here. It's Hollywood, it's Los Angeles, New York, you know what I mean? These are what people dream about and see on TV. Uh, most people in the Midwest, I don't think, I think this is what they see it as. Yeah. This is as high as it gets. I mean, how, how much higher does it get? This is a place where you can go further than anywhere else, you know, because it's a world market. If you make it big here, then you can do projects that everyone in the world can see, you know. Well, I think there's a false American dream very present in Hollywood that exists. I think um, the Hollywood American dream blinds a lot of um, individuals. There's a false American dream, and then there's a real one that we create for ourselves. You can say it's a dream, for others it's a nightmare. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of dated. So, I'm happy to say that we made it across country. We're here, we're in LA, we're in Hollywood. Um, the pinnacle of the American dream to most people, so it's a fitting end to a great road trip and a great journey. It was a sad day when we said goodbye to Los Angeles, because all of us knew that we were coming up to our final destination of the trip, and that we were all headed back home to get back to our normal lives. I could just feel that we were all thinking the same thing. It will never be like this again. Drifting from my sight. No matter where we end up in life, or where we go even as soon as a plane lands, this connection and this experience will never be lost. And the people who we encounter and the idea of the American dream will not easily be forgotten. All of what you once feared. We left our jobs and turned to carving porcelain because I live in America, somebody like a, a former drug addict who, you know, was, was prostituting himself can actually turn his life around. And I'm sober today, you know, and I just started school. I just registered today for my classes. I'm going to school to get back to the community, to the LGBT community with that combination, you know, and all the love and support that I have from all my friends and family. That's the American dream. I guess it's different for everybody, just looking for change or hope or something for a better life and just some people come here for education or to be able to help their family and it's like I don't know it's a struggle for people it is a struggle for people life is hard I'm just glad that I was able to learn this now while I'm still young and had this opportunity My goal was to find out what the American dream is. But honestly, I guess I didn't. Because it's not just one thing, or one path, one list of characteristics. It's making ourselves happy using the freedom we have in this country. If I could offer any advice after this trip, it would be to take advantage. Take advantage of what this country allows for us and what we can do here. Make yourself happy in whatever way suits you best. If you noticed, not a lot was said about money, but it was more family and passions, hobbies, and personal goals that really made people happy. To me, the American dream means that I can enjoy my life with the people that matter the most, just like I did over these amazing two weeks on the road. The question is not, what is the American dream? But I think the question is, what does it mean individually? What does the American dream mean to you? Now's no 